All right, this is the Notion integration tutorial for our feedback and bug report system in Unity. Uh, so the goal here is to show you how to set everything up so that your reports end up in your own uh, Notion workspaces. Notion is super crazy and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So uh, I'm going to stick with a very basic database here. You can of course customize this to fit your needs uh, and to have all the data posted wherever you want them. Um, for now, I've just created an empty database here with the fields of headline, user comment and full log. You don't have to call them that. Uh, we show you, I'll show you later how um, to customize all this. But for simplicity's sake, this is just what I've created here. Do your own thing in Notion. You can also look at the documentation for all of this on our website, which is also going to explain how to set everything up. The important step is that we will need to create an integration into Notion, which is Notion's way to have you access its API. So uh, in Unity, when you look at our uh, bug reporter component, you see that uh, you'll have to put in an integration token, which is pretty much just an API key. And then uh, we can load in all the other settings that you'll have to do. Also note that Notion currently does not allow posting files via the API, so we can't uh, sadly attach screenshots to these Notion reports. Um, if this uh, will be possible later, we'll add it to our package, of course. So on Notion, you can go to your settings and members page and then to my connections. And then down here, you'll have the link to develop or manage integrations. This is where we want to go. Uh, you could also go directly to notion.so slash my integrations, which is also which is linked here on our documentation. Um, we can just hit uh, create new integration here and most of the default settings here are fine. We need an internal integration, which is good because it's just going to be valid for our own stuff. You can select the associated workspace here. I only have one. You can select the one that you want and then we can give our integration a cool name. So uh, I'm going to call it tutorial video bug reporter. You can also upload an image uh, as a logo. That's fine, we don't need that. And that's pretty much uh, it for the integration. You see we have um, the integration secret here, which I can uh, show and then copy and then paste into our Unity setup. So that's what we need here. The last step is to add our integration to a database. So in uh, Notion, uh, you have all these pages and databases that you can add stuff to, but we still need to add our integration to the one database where you want the bug reports to end up in. Um, so uh, since I've created an integration, I'm just going to reload this page. And then um, we have this three dot menu in the upper right corner. And then you have this connect to um, menu here and uh, this uh, shows you all the integrations that you have. And here we have the tutorial video bug report integration that we've just created. So I'll just add this and confirm. So now our integration is added to this database. And now we can go ahead in Unity and load in uh, the database a list. This is a list of all the databases that the integration has been added to, currently just one. Um, so we select the bug reports and then uh, we can customize where the specific data points of the bug reports go. So we have the headline, the user comment, and the full log, which is also going to come contain the stack traces. Um, and I've created um, fields in the database that have just these names. So I have headline, user comment, and full log. The things that you see here in this dropdown are actually the properties that you've just um, defined here. So if I Go ahead and add another uh, field um, that's going to show up in Unity. So this is where you can customize where the data goes in your databases, where it goes in your Notion space, how you want to um, structure everything. Uh, feel free to use your own structure. Notion is very individual. And uh, let's just create a test report to see if everything is working. You see a report successfully sent and I go to Notion and we already see our test report here. Um, let me just make it a bit bigger. So uh, everything is working. So everything should show up in Notion now when you have errors or feedback reports within your game.